Alright guys, so we just got the trailer all hooked up and ready to go. So now we're going to go over to Charlie's property and we're going to split the heifers up. We're going to take the older ones to put them with the bull and we're going to take the younger ones to our other ranch and put them in the heifer pasture so that they are not on a bull. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So hopefully everything goes good. We just got the trailer hooked up and we're going to go over there now and get them all loaded up and take to the pastures. So we're out here at our lease property. We're in the heifer pasture. So we got the heifers in the pens and we're gonna put the older ones on the bull with the other cows. And then we're going to take younger ones and put them in a heifer pasture on some feed. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So you gotta split them up, put half of them. Younger ones are gonna go on the front. The older ones are gonna go on the back. So that's what we're gonna do now. We went ahead and got them in the pens. So now let's go and sort them and then get them on the trailer. most of the younger ones that we wanted to go on the front of the trailer but um, two of the older ones did go on there with them so now we are going to try to get just the two older ones off and then leave the, all the younger ones in the front compartment so we have about four in the trailer that we're going to go take out to a pasture put them on the feed so these are the younger ones and we're still trying to make a decision but we think that all these are going to go on a bull So we just let seven heifers in here and then now we're going to take the ones that are still in the trailer and put in the heifer pasture on some feed. So this big red one right here is probably the only one that we're going to keep. The other ones we're just going to fatten up and probably take to the market. They're not 
best quality, but now they're just gonna walk all the fence lines because they're new to this pasture. Alright, now Kaylin's gotta clean out the trailer. So it's been a few days since that we moved the heifers and put them on the bull. So we're just going to go out there and check on them, make sure that everyone is still in and doing good. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're also going to take the mower and we're going to mow the cow pens and also some of the weeds out there. And I'm going to clean the shed out and get that a little bit organized. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So come along with us. So we are at the cow pens and we're going to be cleaning them up. So here is a before. There's a bunch of tall weeds, so we're going to be mowing it. Dad said some stuff about me mowing it, but I think I'm going to let him do all the work today. It's very hot. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get it mowed and all cleaned up. And I'll give you a tour and show you how everything works afterwards. into this big area and then we'll close these two gates over here and then we're going to push all of them over here into this little holding area over here and then you'll push them all the way over here into your sweet tub you'll go down the lane and then into the head catch where we can work them all right, so this is a sweep tub. All you gotta do is once you get your cows in there, you just push it and it'll go behind them. Push it one more time so they can see it snap in. There. And then the fewer and fewer cows, you can keep closing it. And then they'll, so they'll go down, down the lane and into the head catch. And then so we can give them their shots, ear tags, whatever they need here. Hey, cow pig. Hi, Mama. We got you some treats. Come on. She don't want your petting her. Alright, so we got these treats for cow pig, so now we're going to see if she likes them. She's not okay with being pet yet. Baby cow pig.
unfortunately we missed the donkey rolling but the saying is if a horse rolls all the way over then it's a good horse my donkey rolled all the way over so it's a good donkey in case y'all didn't know his name is beamer so now we are going to get the cows to follow us into the cow pen so we can give them some pellets the reason that we are not giving them pellets where they are and we are making them follow us is because we want to feed them in the cow pen so they can get used to following us so it will be easier to get them up when we need to work them. Alright guys, so here is the shed that we got with our lease property, and so it's a little dirty, um, so I'm going to kind of try to organize it a little bit. We did not have a broom, so I'm not going to be able to sweep today, but I'm going to just kind of try to pick some of the stuff up, and so I can come and sweep another day. Slide down door. This is where we keep all of our feet and everything. Oh, so I will be able to sweep today. They have a broom. All right, update on the shed. I got everything swept out. Have the whole shelf organized. Just have to put a last few things back in here and we can be done. We do have to still sweep this up, but that's not gonna take very long. So here is the finishing product. I swept the floor, but I didn't get to do the sides, but I'll do that another day. There is some rain coming, so we are going to go ahead and head home. All right guys, so we came out here, we got the cow pens cleaned up, checked on the cows, everyone's doing good. Got the shed all cleaned up, but anyway, there's got some rain coming, so we're gonna go ahead and head out. But thank you guys for watching this video, and make sure you like and subscribe so that you can see another video. We're gonna be working the cows soon. So if you would like to see that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. So peace out.